other side of the bed. So if God showed us a dream in the middle of the night, we would get up and start writing so we won't forget what God was trying to show us through the language of dreams in the realm of the spirit. What do you mean? Because if God is showing me something, I need to make sure that I remember what he said. In Hebrews, it says, take heed to the word that you have heard, lest at any time you will let it slip. You got to make sure when God speaks something to you, you remember, you download it, you meditate on that thing to make sure it's on the inside of you. Write the vision. Anything you write down, more, more likely than not, you remember. If you don't write down what God told you, you ain't serious. You got to write down what God showed you. It has to be somewhere where you're going to see it all the time. Put it in your bathroom. Put it on a wall. Get you a vision board. What is God showing you? What, what direction is my life going in? What am I supposed to be doing? How should I focus my energy? Write the vision. Write it down. I said it at 8 o'clock. Not just write it down, but sign the name on it. Tell God I'm in agreement with you about me. Y'all right. quiet. When you sign your name, it's a binding contract. You're telling God I'm in full agreement about my own life. And some of us think vision is fantasy. If, if you had a true vision from God, you're going to start moving. You don't sit back and just, oh, I had this vision. And it's fantasy if you don't do nothing about it. It's not reality. Most folks in there fantasize. They never do nothing. They just talk about it. Write the vision. Write it down. What do you want God to do in your life this year? The next five years, next ten years, what is my life supposed to look like? Because God has already prepared my life, but if I go after him, he reveals to me what it is. Young people, you don't have time to wait. Write the vision. Yes. Let me give you this. One of the biggest tools the enemy uses to kill vision that's in people is called the spirit of distraction. Oh, that's a big one right there. That's a huge one right there. Hear me, the enemy is so slick that when you have a vision, when you start moving toward it, some of y'all were doing pretty good. Last six months, last 12 months, you've been making progress and doing okay, and hell gets nervous. So what he does, he gets you preoccupied. Watch this. He'll cause hell to break out in places you never experienced before. He'll send the wrong people in your life to get you off focus. He will watch this, and some of us are good for this. We get caught up. In everybody else's trap. You don't have the energy to do nothing God told you to do because you're busy trying to play God in their life. <laughs> Y'all quiet. The spirit of distraction was built by the enemy to break your focus. Because if I get your focus, I can always keep you going in the direction I want you to go in. Peter was walking on water until he lost his focus. He was walking through a storm until he lost his focus. He was walking on water until he lost his focus. Distraction. Major, major spirit. Major spirit. 